I'm not now, what tonight is about, and I would like you to let me finish what I'm saying. Bodos that flushed 7.5 million gallons of sewage down the Withlacoochee River. And okay, maybe you did a spot check after we discovered that there was a really hot spot. I don't even know what day you did that, so I don't know how to compare it. We found the same thing two days later than when we first did. And what we found fits exactly with what you would expect with the sewage moving down the river. If that kind of measurement was regularly done, people in Florida wouldn't have to be putting up alerts because it's at US 84. They wouldn't know when it's approaching the border. But they don't. And that also takes no responsibility for that. That is my point. I also wonder, is there anyone else in the room who has data on Magden or Knight's Ferry? Before, before we move on, two things on kitchen and data. And uh, second thing is, we please invite these people to the January 18th panel. Sure. First. Oh, hold on, hold on. Just finish. John, step up, please. I'm following the instructions of the mayor here. January 18th, please. This was your new mayor's idea, which is to have a paddle on the Withacoochee River after the Whit River test clean, which we hope will be true by January 18th. January 18th. <coughs> and the idea is to go from Troopville boat ramp down to Bridge, which is just below US 84, which goes through some of the affected area we've just been talking about, and also includes the outfall from the with Future Wastewater Treatment Plant. And to compliment Valdosta, so far as I know, that wastewater treatment plant has not failed in a year. So, congratulations on that part. 